I'm Mick and this is Sally. In our videos we hope to showcase what Australia has to offer. You can follow us on our adventures via the following social media platforms. If you like the video please subscribe to our YouTube channel. In this video, we take you to our favourite river camp in South Australia, and that is Hogwash Bend. And here we're turning off of the Cadell to Wakery Road, and heading down towards the river itself. It's only a short drive on this uh, well-maintained dirt road, from when you leave the bitumen to when you get down to the camp area. It was back in 2011 when the road that we're travelling on now that takes you down to the river was actually flooded. The river flood level was that high that um, the water came up over the road and when you look at the photo on the left that was us driving down for this trip. Of course no water and back in 2011 we actually parked up on the road where the water began and we walked through to the river itself and uh, at times as you can see here in the top right hand photo we were waist high up into the water. As we got closer to the river bank and the bottom left hand corner uh, the photo there is from today of course and the river is down low enough that it's all dry but if you look at the trees and then look at the photo on the right hand side you'll see where the water was all flooded and it was so green and beautiful and of course we continued to walk through that until we got to the river bank itself. Now back to this trip where we continue to drive down to the river bank to find a suitable campsite. just arrived at Hogwash Bend we're here for a couple of nights so yeah quite a crowd here we lucky enough we got the last uh, riverfront site that was available it's one thing about knocking off work lunchtime on the uh, Saturday and then trying to get a good site on the river it's pretty hard at times but we're here for two nights so we'll see how it all pans out one of the reasons that we came up here on this weekend was to have a look at the high water level that once again the river was experiencing and it was because of that high water level there in the river at the moment that uh, prevented anyone from camping down on the sandbar or on the sandy area where we normally would camp um, it was all flooded so at the moment everyone was up on the bank and this reduced the amount of camping uh, locations that were available to campers but nevertheless it was still very nice up there and uh, something different to look at in an area that's flooded that you can normally look at and view it at a different angle. The set of photos that you're looking at now show where we would normally camp when the river was at the normal pool level. And the top right hand corner there, the photo there, 2019 that shows us down on the sand and when you look at the photo to the left um, 2021 which of course was taken today you can see the two trees there that are flooded well that's where we would normally be and when you glance at the two photos on the bottom the one on the right there 2019 um, that's the same photo or the same trip as the one in the top right hand corner but taken looking from the opposite way and when you look at the photo there to the left 2021 again being taken today you can see the two trees and where we would normally park so she's flooded not deep but nevertheless you can't get there with the river at the flood height that it is currently at today it certainly gives a different perspective and a different view on the camping area and the river bank itself very picturesque with a bit of green grass growing there as we pan from the uh, right hand side to the left hand side of the campground 
certainly the old pelicans, they like it. Time to light up the fire pit, get a bit of wood burning and a few coals created and then later on to throw the barbecue plate on for a barbecue lunch. There is no wood available at Hogwash Bend so you need to bring your own in but always plenty of scrappy leaves and so on that certainly makes it a bit easy to get the fire going. We were very fortunate on this trip, for some reason people had left quite a bit of wood behind on one of the campfires that they'd had, I guess it was the week after the long weekend, so people brought in what they thought they'd need to use and didn't use at all, so they left it there for the next people, so that was very good, so all the wood that we actually burnt on this trip was uh, what we picked up from someone else's previous campsite, just a matter of running the chainsaw through it to get it down to usable pieces in the fire pit and away we went. Once we'd had lunch we took a trip down to Cordo Winery which was not very far from Hogwash Bend at all and you, as seen here as we fly over with the drone it's on the corner or a bit of a bend in the river actually and on the outside of it they've got beautiful lawns although they weren't real flash at this time of the year but um, they've got lawns there for boats and houseboats and whatnot to pull up and walk into the winery they will cater for uh, houseboats and more so cruise boats I guess than houseboats but they will cater there they uh, offer wine tasting, salad or sales, you can eat meals there There are sheltered tables and chairs there that you can see or you can sit down and have a drink at and then the orange brown colour top a little bit further or a little bit closer to the water that's individual booths where you can have your meals and also do a bit of wine tasting oh well it's that part of the trip again it's Monday afternoon time to pack up and go home but it's been good here at Hogwash Bend when we got here on Saturday afternoon it was uh, overcast trying to rain but the overcast uh, conditions didn't put us off and it was much the same again yesterday but no rain yesterday today's very nice sunshine a little bit of white fluffy cloud but not a lot and uh, less wind than what we've had so been very good so yeah we'll have a quick lunch a bite to eat for lunch do our final pack up and get going so hope you've enjoyed this one and until we meet again take care now this wasn't in my contract of going up the river camping for a weekend but uh, we're coming up the side of Nuriupta when the alarm bell started ringing and we didn't know what the noise was and I thought it was a mobile phone but as it turned out it was our safety Dave tire monitor telling us that we had a fast leak in our right and rear caravan wheel so we made for a parking bay which wasn't very far away and I think when we pulled in there we had about 10 pound of air left in the tyre so it was a quick tyre change and get the thing back on and put the spare there and get rolling again but it's only our second flat tyre we've ever had on a caravan. If you like the video that you just watched give us a thumbs up and if you want to see more of our videos hit the subscribe button and once you've done that tap on the bell and change the notification to all. That way every time we do uploads to our YouTube channel, you'll be notified.